ninja. I guess it was really only a matter of time. I have to blame this one partly on myself for mentioning it a few times in an older video, because since then I've had a whole bunch of requests to do a review on it. Well guys, that time has now come. This is the infamously crappy Kasumi Ninja on the Atari Jaguar, developed by Handmade Software and released by Atari Games in 1994. Oh, no mercy. At the start of the game, you can actually only select between one of two playable characters, who are Senzo and Habaki, two ninja brothers who are essentially the exact same character with the same special attacks. The only major differences between them are that one is green and the other is orange, and that they have two different finishing moves. The rest of the cast is only unlocked once you've beaten them, and that doesn't mean that they're unlocked from here on out. Next time you play the game, god forbid, you'll have to do the same thing all over again. The best course here is to obviously beat your favorite character first, and then play through the rest of the game with him or her. You may also have noticed that the character select screen isn't at all what you would expect from a fighting game. It's an awkwardly slow-moving 3D dungeon that can be trudged around in, with each selectable character being represented by a statue. When you walk up to one of them, you can either select them or hit the C button to view a small bio on each one. And now on to the meat and potatoes of Kasumi Ninja, and that is the fighting, or lack thereof. Saying that this game plays poorly would be an extremely generous understatement. It's dreadfully slow and unresponsive at best, and to make matters worse, most of these special moves involve holding down a button and inputting directions, kinda like Primal Rage, and guess what, that didn't even work for Primal Rage. The enemy AI in this game is absolutely ridiculous. Go ahead and throw the idea of playing through the game on normal right out the window, since you can't even get a real ending unless you play on the Hard or Dragon God setting. The AI itself isn't really that tough at all unless you actually try to fight them with some sort of decency and respect. If you do, they will just hammer you mercilessly with projectiles. If you decide to fire back with the same cheesy tactic, they won't be able to do much of anything except continuously get hit, even on the hardest difficulty. Even the blood and gore in the game is laughable. Although each of the eight characters has a single finishing move, only a handful of them are even worth seeing. Almost all of them seem like they were just kind of thrown in at the last second just for shock value. After taking out everyone on the regular roster, you'll then get to take on Gyaku himself, who ends up just being a dark gray version of the same ninja sprite as Senzo or Habaki. The only way to face the true version of Gyaku is to beat him, and then when the game asks you to finish him off, just let him fall over and don't do anything. You'll then be taken onto the final battle with the demon, and earn yourself this glorious true ending. Oh, no mercy. The graphics in Kasumi Ninja really aren't that bad, all things considered. The character design is, of course, terrible, but some of the stages are fairly decent looking. There's usually some parallax scrolling in each one, and although completely uninspired, there are a handful of them that do look pretty nice. Sound-wise, it's not really even worth talking about. There isn't anything memorable here, and even most of the voices, music, and sound effects all sound really muffled and cheap. Kasumi Ninja is a game that I really wanted to like, but I just can't. I was really hoping to find that so bad it's good in a weird way kind of charm with it, but its gameplay is so incredibly lackluster and boring that even its outright cheesiness can't save it. And it's really kind of a shame, too. If you take a look back at some of the history of the game's development, it was originally planned to be a much bigger, much more involved kind of game. The problem here was Atari, who forced the developers into rushing the game out to meet a holiday season deadline way before it was ready to go. 
Not that the game had much potential to begin with, but I can't help but wonder what might have been if the devs had the time and resources to reach whatever their original goal was. Oh, hi. I'm good. Wait. 